What's good, everyone? This is your boy, DJ's Raw and Cut Truth, giving you that raw content that you deserve and you need. And man, the boy, Brandon Ingram, the star of the Pelicans, I said the star of the Pelicans, I had to let it be known because unfortunately, some, not all, Pelican fans believe that Drew Holiday is the star of the team, but it's not true. And before I go on, I'll say this. Uh, Drew Holiday is a great guy. He's a great person. I've said it countless of times. Um, and if he's traded, hopefully he goes to a contender and he could finish off his career the right way. And then the Pelicans can get pieces that they need, which is a true small forward and a five. But for this video, Brandon Ingram has hit the jackpot. The Pelicans, Purple Ports, the Pelicans are trying to give him an extension, a huge contract, which is well deserved. Um, I'm happy for B.I. He deserves it. And I knew he would become the player that he is now. Uh, when he played for the Lakers, I saw the potential. And just like what the Lakers have done under Jeannie Buss and company, he played on a team that didn't build around him. The Lakers had D'Angelo Russell, didn't build around D'Angelo Russell. They had him, B.I., didn't build around his talents. And then a year after, after that, they drafted Lonzo number two. All three players were drafted number two. And the Lakers did not build around them. The Pelicans can make this right by giving Brandon Ingram the money he deserves, keeping his best friend Zone on the team. They're always around each other. It's pretty obvious. They're literally best friends. Um, B.I. was there for Lonzo when others were hating on him. He was always there. He wasn't a clout chaser like Kyle Kuzma, who was a phony friend and started to switch up when the trades happened. Besides the contract, the Pelicans got to build around their two guys, B.I. and Zion. And then they have to make sure their point guard, Lonzo Ball, has the keys to the offense. Now, Lonzo mentally has to have a score mentality added. He has to attack the basket more, but besides that, the usage rate has to be higher than 18.5%. That is too low for a point guard, and you can't win that many games doing that. Lonzo at least, at least needs to have 25% of a usage rate for them to have a successful season. And then they have to uh, trade Drew to get a natural three so he can move B.I. to the two, his natural position, and get a legitimate five. And if the Pelicans do that, they'll make the playoffs. But if the Pelicans keep the ball hogs, not Drew, of course, I'm saying Etwan Moore, uh, Frank Jackson, all those other busters on the bench, then you're going to see the same team as last year. This team needs a whole nother level of reconstruction. It's pretty obvious. It has to have more ball movement. No more stagnant offense. Dribbling the air out of the ball. No more of that crap. And this just tells you that when you have a successful season like Brandon Ingram did, you get what you want. And right now, I do not see the Pelicans trading Lonzo. I, I just don't see it. You don't trade the best friend of the team. Unless they want to make B.I. angry. And I know they don't want to do that. Now, if they trade Lonzo and both sides are cool, hey, that's normal. That's part of the business, part of the NBA. We all have to realize the NBA is a man's game. And it's it's a man's league and it's realistic players get traded all the time you could go through my timeline 
you see people arguing with me by me telling the truth that, well, Drew Holiday's not a superstar, so he's tradable. That's true. Doesn't mean that Drew Holiday is a bad player. Just like Lonzo, he could get traded. But he probably wouldn't be traded because of the relationship he has with uh, B.I., the chemistry, as well as with Zion. Zion has a higher usage rate, not a usage rate, but a, a higher efficiency rate when he's playing with Zoe. That makes a difference. I mean, when Zoe's playing with Zion, Zion averages about 25 points per game. That is a fact. So the Pelicans are, are in the right direction. All they got to do is build the team the right way. Fill the team up with nothing but 3 and D shooters. And they'll be set. So all praise to the most high. Uh, make sure you all stay prayed up. Stop uh, living your life through politics. Live your life through God and family. Uh, politics at the end of the day has not done anything for us and after this election whoever wins and it looks like it's going to be Biden it's going to be the same thing so the best thing you can do is to do for self don't depend on people who do not have your best interest keep your head down and keep working hard man and you'll get where you want to be in life I guarantee you much love to all of you guys Thank you for subscribing to my channel and supporting the content. And before I go off, yesterday, uh, after one of the Lamella Ball videos, I made uh, a, a second part to the video at the end about ESPN laying off their workers. My advice to them is they have somewhat of a name. They have a skill. How about they create their own? and use the money they have left to create a YouTube channel, do a podcast, monetize their money, and grow it organically. There's nothing wrong with grassroots. Grassroots is the foundation of America. It's the foundation of, of, of our lives. And they would benefit. They may not make the money they made at ESPN, but they'll have the power and the freedom to say what they want. So hopefully the people who are laid off are making the right moves for their future. I'm praying for them. And anybody who's making fun of anybody lo losing a job are just as wrong. It's never funny when someone loses their job. We got to be better than that. Peace.